hello guys so today we will be seeing a new program uh, this is about uh, like uh, we will give a particular date and we need to find out like what is the day of the date so probably let's say like uh, today is the 25th of March 2022 right so let's say I'm giving here 25 and let's say I'm giving 0 3 or 3 probably and month and the year is 2000 uh, 2022 right so now we need to get the day so today is uh, Thursday so that should be printed no not Thursday because it is already 25th so uh, today is Friday so it should give me Friday so how can I do it so let's see uh, this will not be very difficult because Java has some inbuilt methods and classes which can be used here so I'm just creating method for this fine day and now I'm returning the value here I'm putting it I mean I'm not changing it but here I will write the logic so we have to use uh, the local date class so local local date so local date is a class under time package so java dot time dot local date and you can uh, read about it and it has been introduced in uh, it has been introduced since um, Java 1.8 before Java 1.8 there is no local date class right so a date without a time zone in ISO 8601 calendar system such as this so local date is an immutable date time object that represents a date often viewed as year month day so year month and day so that is the sequence we need to follow other dates fields such as day of the year day of the week and week of the year can be also accessed so we need like day of the week so we need this one and uh, next for example the value of 2nd October 2007 can be stored in local date okay so this is a huge I mean lots of methods would be there so uh, let's see how can I utilize all uh, this, that thing here uh, with the help of local date class so okay so local date dot there is a method called off so you can see uh, this off method this return a local date with specific year month and day of the month so uh, day of the month means it is also integer so that means in year we need to pass this year value 2022 and integer month we need to pass 3 and integer day of the month we need to pass 25 so let's take it and here I'll be writing is I instead of I will be passing it as 2022 and then here I will be passing 3 and here I will be passing 25 semicolon so this will be returned something right so we do not know what we know already it, it will be returning a local date but still I am just writing like my date and sorry my date and here I'm hovering over it so it's literally saying like create a local variable I am clicking on it and you can see it uh, this Eclipse or Eclipse has uh, Eclipse helps us to you uh, create this local date so even though we, if you do not know with this help of Eclipse we can create uh, you can get it right okay so next I'll be moving to my date so now my date object dot and let's say if you have a, if we have any methods which can be used to find the day of the month so uh, day of the month get day of month or get day of week right so get day of the week so let over let's over over it and see what it is returning so get the day of week field which is an enum day of the week so this method returns the enum day of the week so if I click on it so a day of the week such as Tuesday okay so this day of the week is a enum and it is having uh, it is actually an enum representing seven days of the week like Monday Tuesday Wednesday something uh, like that so, till Sunday so Monday is the first and Sunday is the last day of that week and in addition to the textual term so you can read about it and so basically this get day of the week is returning the enum which is day of the week 
okay so I'm just putting semicolon and here uh, I'm writing day of the day of the week so this is my variable which I'm creating and it is actually returning in the enum so I'm just over writing create local variable so which is day of the week so we got the day of the week now I will print this out okay or maybe we can write like no, return day of the week dot uh, dot dot to string yeah so let's run it and see what is it is printing so it's printing Friday absolutely right so our program is correctly working and let's change it to something in past probably we can check for example uh, let's go back to the calendar and check here so click on here so I'm going back to 2007 and June month and her 14th so 14 June 2017 so let's do that 14 June 2007 so it was I think Friday, Wednesday I believe okay probably it is not saved or I did a mistake okay it is returning again oh okay sorry I mean I did a mistake right because I'm just hard coded it here right so that's the wrong thing so where we have to do integer year integer month and integer d so year will be going here and month will be coming here and this is the day so if I run it now I hope okay it's giving some error right so let's see what is the error it's giving sorry I uh, invalid value of day of the month valid 1 to 28 okay so Friday integer year oh, okay okay sorry sorry I did a mistake here again so this is 2007 and find day And this is month so find day is actually having integer year month and day so this is would be uh, 25th right and let's actually check it go back to 2022 and 2007 uh, 2008 June and I'm checking 25th of June so it should be Wednesday so 2008 and now run it yep so it's working fine so like this we can get any day of the week from any particular date I hope you have understood it thank you for watching